We're really blessed tonight because there's a really beautiful young woman who is a native of Pittsburgh and whose family has been members of the Tree of Life Synagogue, whose father and mother have been really involved in all sorts of ways in the shul and also in the community post this tragedy. And uh, Samantha Harris, who is one of the loveliest people I've had the great fortune of meeting tonight, is going to bring a message from her synagogue and community and share it with us. So please come to the stage, Samantha. Thank you, Alana. Happy Hanukkah, everybody. I'm not as tall as the mic, so. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, as Alana said, my name is Samantha Harris. Tree of Life has been the source of my Jewish identity, even though I now live in New York. I was bat mitzvah at Tree of Life. My family is active in the synagogue. My father is the secretary of Tree of Life and head of the Interfaith Committee, the immediate past president of the men's club, and they keep asking him to be president. <laughs> uh, my mother is a member of the Sisterhood and of the Ritual Committee. I happened to be in Pittsburgh visiting when the tragedy happened. My mom and I were backing out of the driveway to visit little cousins in the suburbs when we got frantic calls and texts because my parents regularly attend services. It's heartwarming to see so many people help their community and our congregation. Um, it really does mean a lot. And let me tell you, it's really needed right now, so thank you. Um, I'd like to tell you just a few stories about some of the people that we lost on October 27th. Cecil and David Rosenthal were born with Fragile X Syndrome. They brought so much light to the Tree of Life. Attached at the hip, but with vastly different personalities, they brought a big smile to everyone's face, especially mine. My dad is also the head usher at shul, so he rarely is able to sit with my mom and me at services. Cecil sat with us so he didn't get lonely. He always asked how our cat Crumble was doing. He'd say, how is Curly the cat? <laughs> He'd always end every interaction with, I'm praying for you. When I would arrive at the tree after my parents, whether I was coming separately or parking the car, Cecil and David would meet me at the entrance and Cecil would say, Sammy, you better watch out for your dad or Irwin's misbehaving. He's being a very bad boy. <laughs> no, of course, he wasn't misbehaving, but it was the greeting that, that made things a little lighter at shul. And this little game just made things more fun. Cecil was the first victim that my family and I heard about, and you can only imagine how our household reacted. Even Crumble, Cecil's curly, somehow seemed to know and understand. I've known Rose Malinger since I was very young. I grew up with her grandchildren and became especially close with her granddaughter at sleepaway camp. She was the second victim I knew of as I was texting her grandchildren, as I was texting all of my childhood friends whose families may have been a tree of life, and I was devastated. Her aunt was also injured, but she's out of the hospital and doing very well. Uh, Rose and her sister Sylvia would always clap for me when I finished a prayer when I was preparing for my bat mitzvah. <laughs> Um, I felt like a superstar, and for those of you who don't know, clapping is not normally permitted in services, um, but they did anyway, and I was just a middle school theater kid that was thrilled that these two ladies were clapping for me in the back. Um, nobody minded that they were clapping. Um, their support was so meaningful, and I was able to carry it all the way through to my bat mitzvah day. Seeing their smiling faces clapping for me in the pews, it gave me great confidence, and it just warmed my heart. I could tell a hundred stories about all of the victims from that day, but these are just a few of my favorites. I've been so touched, just as all of us at Tree of Life had, and Dor Hadash and New Light, as we all share a building, by the outpouring of support. We're so grateful to Mara, Alana, Green Room 42, and the amazing performers tonight, and of course all of you, thank you guys for your support. I was really heartworn to see when everyone raised their hands that wasn't Jewish. I really wasn't expecting that, so it means a lot. Thank you for your support. This evening, as we celebrate the fifth night of Hanukkah by lighting the candle in unity with the other congregations who have lost loved ones, we will look to the future together, knowing that it, knowing that it will reflect the light that fills the darkness. Sunday night, a giant menorah was lit at the corner of Wilkins and Shady outside our building. The rabbi and congregants won't let the light go out. Remember that words matter. Call out anti-Semitism when you see it. Whether outright or in seemingly harmless microaggressions, especially right now, nothing can be tolerated. 
I'm holding my own benefit concert and silent auction in Pittsburgh on Thursday, December 27th, entitled Roots of Steel. You can find out more information, buy tickets, and make a donation at rootsofsteel.org. On behalf of the entire Tree of Life Orla Simcha congregation, thank you so much.